Hi guys, uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to access your FortiGit firewall from GNS3, from GNS3, okay, this FortiGit firewall on a web browser. So you're going to access the FortiGit firewall GUI on any browser that you have, okay, by just uh, typing the IP address of the FortiGit firewall, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to use GNS3. Uh, to do the lab. So let, let's just start from scratch. So I'm just going to delete all this. Okay, perfect. Then what we're going to need uh, is only a FortiGit firewall and a cloud. That's all that you can need for this lab. And ensure that, that you run everything on the uh, GNS3 VM. Okay, all right. So after doing this, it's very, very important to check on the network adapters. Remember, these devices, let me just start them. These devices are running on a GNS3 VM here, okay? So they will inherit the property of GNS3 VM here in regards to uh, subnets or the network. So just go to check on the GNS3 VM, just right click and uh, go to settings and check on network adapters. Ensure NAT is there because basically we are going to use NAT interface, okay? The NAT IPs, okay? Because even uh, even when you see here on the GNS3 VM here, this IP address represents the NAT IP, okay? So ensure you had the NAT uh, interface, the NAT the NAT adapter, network adapter, okay? All right. How can you do it? Just click add and uh, network adapter and just click finish okay finish okay so you see i've added another one but i don't want to add it so what what will i do i'll just cancel it okay right so ensure you had a network adapter and uh to be a type of nut perfect all right okay so the second thing that you do we just uh connect it there right perfect right okay so the first thing is to ensure that our gns3 vm is running over a NAT adapter uh the second thing to ensure is to uh con ensure that you have the cloud here and connect it to the 40 gig firewall right perfect so what i'm gonna do is just to go to the 40 gig firewall uh, console and log in the default password uh, and username as always admin, but the password is always blank, sorry. Yeah, just hit enter and set a new password. I'm gonna set admin, admin, perfect. So I'm already logged in. So what I'm gonna do, just let's just set, set a host name, just say config system uh, global, okay. Then set host name, host name to be gtech firewall. Okay, then end. You see the hostname has changed to GTH firewall. Perfect. Then now let's go and configure. Remember, remember, uh, we're going to access the FortiGate firewall uh, from an interface connected to the cloud. That's why we need a cloud. It's very important that you have the cloud here. If you do not have it, uh, the FortiGate firewall will not be exposed outside. So you need to connect it to uh, the cloud here. Okay, all right. So let me just say config system interfaces, all right? Then we check which interface is this because we want to configure this interface, right? We want to configure this uh, interface, which is port one, okay? Yeah, we're going, we're going to use that interface to access it from the browser, right? So just say edit port one, perfect. Then you can show the properties so you see port one, uh, the mode is DSCP and allow access this one. So basically what we're gonna do, set mode to be static because we, are, we want firewall uh, interfaces to have static IP addresses, okay? Then set IP, set IP. So which IP are you gonna set? You're going back to the GNS3 VM. And clearly see that the IP is in the range 192, 168, 160.1 something. It's a slash 24. A subnet. So if you come back to your GNS3 here 
ensure you set the forty degree firewall like one ninety two root one sixty eight dot uh, it's one sixty. Then let me see. This is one twenty nine. So maybe you can make this one maybe one thirty something or maybe one twenty. Yeah. So let me just make it uh, maybe one forty. Okay. And the slash twenty four uh uh submit. Okay. And you hit enter. Perfect. Then what you do again, you allow access. So basically, I'm just going to copy this one. Set allow access pin HTTPS search HTTP that one. Perfect. Then we're going to give this one a role of one. Okay, the one that connects to the internet. So just say uh, set role to be one. Perfect. Then set alias. Uh, just a name. Alias is just a name. Okay. All right, then end. So guys, basically, we are now able to access the um, the FortiGate firewall on the web browser. Even if you come, if you can just try to uh, ping the FortiGate firewall IP, which is one hundred two one sixty eight one sixty dot forty, you see, I'm able to ping. Okay, all right. So basically, let us go to our web browser and hit that one and hit enter. Okay, perfect. Just continue to the site. Then use the username and password that we were using that uh, that other time that we just configured admin admin. Okay, okay. The password that you you just configured here. Okay, All right. So as you can see, I'm able to access the FortiGate firewall. Um, in the browser okay perfect so as well you can go to network interfaces and you see the one that we just configured is this one okay the one the one network interface that we just configured uh the highlights was one the role was one and ip address is that one okay perfect thank you so much guys and i believe this video has really helped you know how to uh access uh the photical firewall gui on a web browser okay thank you so much and have a good day see you again in the next video bye bye